So welcome, this is a tutorial to install Django on your Windows computer. Um, we're gonna base, basically be getting a Windows computer set up to work with Django and then a few other things that we'll be using as well. Um, so in order to actually work with Django, we have to install Python and that's because Django is a Python web framework. It relies on Python code and a Python interpreter. Um, so to install Python, we go to python.org and we click on downloads and then we are gonna be downloading version 2.7. Now version 2.7 seems like it's outdated, but it's not. They are still updating and providing patches for it. Um, I don't believe that they're gonna do version 2.8, but 2.7 is still uh, being supported by developers all around the world. That being said though, the Python community is pushing towards 3.4, so eventually most things will go that way. Um, it just really depends, but for now, Python 2.7 is still very much a current version, and this is what we're going to be using uh, throughout all of our projects. So download 2.7, go ahead and just click on that. It's going to actually download it right away for you. If it doesn't, if it takes you somewhere else, just download the latest release, and you can just click download here, uh, and that's version 2.7. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is install pip. So if you go to pip.readthedocs.org, it's gonna take you to this page right here and we'll just click on installation and then uh, you wanna scroll down to git-pip.py and all you're gonna do here is just save the file, so li save link as. Uh, I'm putting it on my desktop. I actually already have it installed or saved on my desktop so uh, you can save it now. Uh, other than that, we all we need now is just get git-pip. Um, so once you do that, and Python is finished downloading, we're gonna actually install Python uh, onto your computer. Um, so I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna double click on the Python install part. And for me, I'm gonna install for all users. I'm just gonna do this as a default thing. Um, it, it's really gonna depend on your system. I am using Windows 8, but this setup should be exactly the same for Windows 7 or at least very similar. And then uh, Windows Vista and Windows XP might be a little bit different, but uh, I'll try and explain the differences as we go. So all we've done so far is download Python 2.7 and then also save the file git-pip.py. And git-pip is just a Python file, so uh, it's gonna be treated as such. Now we wanna install for all users, so go to hit next, and then we're gonna save it in the default location, just hit next, next, and then it's gonna ask you this account control. Of course you say yes. Um, and I'm gonna let it install there for a second. And now what we wanna do is we wanna actually, before we finish off anything, we wanna set up our environment variables. Now this topic is uh, just so our command prompt works correctly. So before we even jump into environment variables, let's actually open up the command prompt and see what that is. Uh, if I hit the Windows key and X at the same time, this little part comes up and you can click on command prompt. That's kind of a shortcut to it. There's other ways to get to command prompt, but that's the fastest way. So this is what we're gonna be working in uh, a decent amount with any Django project. Uh, it's just kind of what you have to do when you're coding. Um, so using command prompt is the default, I would say, for you when you're working in Python or Django or coding at all. Command prompt is gonna be the one that you're gonna to wanna to write your code or at least execute your code in. Um, when we, when we actually write code, we're gonna use a text editor, but executing code, we're gonna use command prompt. So if we type out Python right now, it's gonna say Python is not recognized. Uh, and that basically means that Python as a program is not ready to go. I mean, as you can see with this more technical speak of that, but basically Python's not ready to go, right? So like when we clicked on the installer, when we double clicked on that, it actually loaded up this installer and it installed Python. And as we see now, it's actually done, so I can hit finish. Uh, but even that it's done and I type Python, it's still not coming up in the command prompt. So what this means is our path is not set up. And what the path is, is just commands that we can do here on the command prompt. So if I type out dir, that's a type of command that lists everything out all the directories, all the files within the specific folder that I'm in, right? So in this case, I'm in the user folder, Justin. So let's actually take a look what this means. If I open up my folders here and I go into my user, so C drive and then users and then Justin, what we see here is the exact same stuff. So 
we have dot idle uh, rc dot idle rc dot virtual box you might not have a lot of, you might not have those two that's okay uh, but then we have context desktop all that stuff so basically all i did was show you everything in the directory and it even says directory of c dash so it gives you the path right there um a lot of these things you don't have to remember perfectly but just keep it in mind that that there are different paths and to a specific folder so in this case c colon uh slash user slash justin justin that will go directly to this folder so that's the path to this folder think of it as kind of like an address for that folder on your computer right so if i ever told you hey go on my computer go to user slash just justin you should be able to find that directory no problem and more than likely you will especially if i said go to folder you uh user slash justin justin slash desktop it would take you you would you would go to this folder specifically and a way to do that is cd and then you could go users slash justin slash desktop and that's going to take you to the same exact spot but from anywhere on the command prompt so if we change back a couple of them by cd dot dot slash like that or cd dot dot slash it's going to take me back a couple, right? So cd dot dot takes me back, and then cd dot dot slash also takes me back. Um, and if I do this, and then I do cd to the desktop, it's going to jump me right in. So this is the path, right? That's the path specifically to that. Now, if Python, if I type out Python and it's not working, that means that I don't have a shortcut to the path of where the Python program is, right? So like each one of these icons is actually a shortcut to the to the program's path on the computer right so like this visual representation is almost like saying dot slash uh program files blah 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 slash chrome dot exe right so that's kind of like double clicking on that kind of does that essentially um so we are going to make it so we can just type out python and it will actually work now to do that we have to go into our settings so hitting um the Windows key with X, it will bring up this again. We click on system and yours might be a little bit different than this. Again, I'm using Windows 8 and all you need to look for is your advanced system settings and then environment variables in advanced. So you might get computer name, but you go to advanced environment variables. Now this is where we're going to actually set our path to have Python execute within the command prompt. Another way to say that is when I type out Python, Python actually runs inside of command prompt. It doesn't open a new program because we're going to use command prompt to do the Python stuff for us. So I already have this variable for user variables for Justin that has system32. Now, if you don't see this, that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. You can just type out new and just type out path as your variable name. If you do see it, then we're going to go to edit. And at the very end of it, we're going to add some new stuff. Now, it's C colon slash python 27 and then semicolon now how did i know it's python 27 now it's well documented online but also if i go into uh, my directories and i look in where python was actually saved uh, when we click next a bunch of times this will actually kind of show us where python was actually saved so we go into c drive and we see python 27 and that stands for of course python 2.7 um and that's where that's how i know that we have to put that folder specifically there uh but then after we do that we also need the exe folder which is or exe file excuse me which is this one right here it doesn't have the extension on it but i know it's definitely that one and that's going to be c colon slash python 27 slash python dot exe all right so for now, I'm just going to say OK to that. Say OK, OK, and then OK. I'm going to exit this, and then I'm going to go back into Command Prompt and type out Python. Uh, doesn't seem like it's working. So let's close out Python or Command Prompt, and let's open it back up. And if we type out Python now, it brings us into Python. Now this is the Python interpreter, and this is where we can do all types of Python stuff. And I'm not going to go through Python stuff right now, but at the very least, you can see that Python is going to be working here. And um, if we just type out exit, oops, want to have exit with uh, parentheses, 
So now, now that this Python command works, I can do stuff with Python. Uh, but before I jump into that, I need to add a couple more things into my environment variables um, so we can make sure our system's working to the degree we want it to work. So let's go back into it. I'm going to hit the Windows key and X and then System and then Advanced System Settings. Go to Environment Variables and then in, Edit the Path. At the very end of it, we want to have a semicolon and then we're going to do C colon slash Python 27 slash scripts slash semicolon and make sure that you have everything capitalized as I do um, and lowercase as I do do it exactly that way otherwise you're going to run into some errors with your path um, so C and then the next one is C Python 27 slash lib capital L lowercase i and b and then site dash packages all lowercase and then Django slash bin you might notice that hey we don't have Django installed yet we'll get to that um, okay so now that's all the path variables we need to work on for that uh, for now so we'll just say okay and then okay and we're gonna exit command prompt again and open it back up now get in the habit of opening command, opening and closing command prompt is a good thing. Um, so now we need to install pip. I can close out system. So pip is this file here. And something I want to do right away is right click on pip, go to properties, and I want to change what it opens with. So change it. And you should see this a little bit, but it says what type of file do you want to open this with. Go to more options and then look for another app on this PC. And we're going to go into the C drive. Python 27 and then we're gonna click on that Python file there and you just hit open and that's it I mean I don't need you don't need to go much more into it than just that um, and if yours already says Python that's okay but we just want to make sure that it's opening with the exe and it's opening with your most current version of it um, so we're gonna say okay to that and actually one more thing I wanted to make note is if we do that oops If we do this, and we come through in here and we change it, you're gonna. All you want to do is just make sure that each and every file that you use is going to be working with that Python 2.7. All right, so let's go back in a command prompt, and we're gonna list everything out with dir, and we're gonna change it into the desktop cd desktop. Okay change into the desktop and now we want to actually install pip um, so it's really simple we just type out Python and then the Python file we want to execute in this case it's git dash pip dot py but before I press enter I'm just gonna make sure that you know I have it in there by pressing dir and we see that git pip is right here git dash pip dot py is there so if I do Python git dash pip dot py and press enter it's gonna install a bunch of stuff. Now this might take a while on your computer, uh, or it might not, it might be very quick, but it's gonna install pip and also set up tools. So this recent release of pip makes it a lot faster to actually get it up and installed uh, than, than before, which is really nice. And um, so I'm gonna let this install, and then after this is done, we are gonna come back, finish up Django, and then we're gonna also install virtual environments. So we'll see you in the next one.